So hey guys, welcome to Underworld from video and today I want to talk a little bit about Hemorrhage which is essentially just a secondary version of Internal Bleeding. Now Hemorrhage, just like Internal Bleeding, uh, drops from the bonus caches you can get in Venus, Pluto and Neptune Proximas. So you will have to do Railjack if you don't want to buy it from other players. As I've said already, Hemorrhage is essentially just a secondary version of Internal Bleeding so it gives you a 35% chance to proc Slash when you proc Impact and this bonus is doubled if the fire rate of the weapon is below 2.5. There is a difference here though, because while internal bleeding is reserved specifically for rifles and bows, hemorrhage works on all pistols, so you can use it on secondary shotguns as well. Now there aren't actually that many secondaries that have high impact and high status with optionally high crit as well, which is always good for slash procs to get that crit multiply in there too. But I've compiled kind of like a test run of the ones that made the most sense to me, so we're gonna start off with the Ag Bronco Prime. This one has kind of the right stats, right, does primarily impact and it has decent status and it's also a shotgun so it's firing a ton of pellets. Plus it has the benefit of running Damza Vati which gives you viral. So I was able to run a Saxum Spittle as well as Sure Shot and then Scorch. So I get viral, heat, a ton of status and a bunch of impact on top of hemorrhage. And the results were underwhelming to say the least and there are a few reasons for it I think. Number one, the weapon doesn't have crit so that multiplier is out of the window and that's a really strong multiplier. Number two, while the status is okay, it's not crazy high, so you broke a decent amount of status, but not a crazy amount of status. Number three, Damzavati just overpowers the weapon with Viral, so you proc primarily Viral and not as much impact. And number four, the base damage on the pellets isn't crazy high either, so even if you do proc Slash, the damage on the Slash procs isn't very high. Next I tested the Exoto Prime, which is not running the right build because I don't want to reform other weapon just yet, but even though the build doesn't make sense here, it does actually make sense on other weapons as we will see in a little bit. So I'm not actually running Lethal Torrent here, and I'm running Hemorrhage instead, and then I have Saxon spittle. The performance here was okay, especially considering it's still missing some fire rate and multi shot from Lita Torrent, but I still wouldn't run it over the standard corrosive and heat setup that I normally use on the Exolato Prime. The main problem is again the base damage of the weapon not being super high, so even though you do proc a decent amount of slash with this one, the slash procs don't do enough damage I don't think to run this boat over another one. This moves us to a rather interesting weapon indeed and that's the Sonic Or, because the Sonic Or has 0% status but that's only because the game lies. The Sonic Orc can actually proc status on the explosion so you can run hemorrhage with it. Plus the explosion should still have a force impact proc as well. But unfortunately the performance is really bad because the base damage on the Sonic Orc is just too low. The projectile does 150 and the explosion does 50. So while you will be proccing a ton of impact which will translate into a ton of slash as well as a lot of viral, the damage you get from those slash procs is unfortunately going to be fairly low. Next on the menu we have a Spore Laser secondary kit gun, in this case it's Susan which is a hybrid so it has good crit and status. Now this one is good but that's mainly because a hybrid secondary Spore Laser is really good and it also only procs slash when you hit the enemy with the projectile because the projectile is the only thing here that does impact. So a lot of the destruction you can see on the screen is just due to the weapon being strong as it is. But that's not necessarily a bad thing, you can use the explosion to clear the smaller guys and then if you run into a beefier guy you can try to hit them with a primary projectile to get a slash proc that's gonna do a decent amount of damage because the base damage on a spore laser style kit gun is gonna be pretty good no matter what. Next up we have the Vacor Merlock where I deliberately took out Lethal Torrent and replaced it with Hemorrhage and that's because if I put on Lethal Torrent the fire rate goes over 2.5 5, so I lose the double bonus from hemorrhage. And while I'm not 100% sure, I'm pretty sure that it's better than the fire rate and multi shot you would get from Letha Torrent. Plus it opens another mod slot that you can fill with whatever you want. Now Vacor Merlock fits hemorrhage pretty well. It's not ideal because the crit multiplier is a bit low which is why I didn't run prime target cracker and I ran with Saxum Spittle instead for more status and impact, but it fits it pretty well and the performance is actually quite admirable, especially if you get a nice crit on a headshot. Then the slash proc you leave behind, if it rolls in your favor and you do actually leave behind the slash proc, is gonna be pretty nice. Then I decided to release the Kraken, the Kuva Kraken in this case, which is unfortunately rolled with bonus radiation and it would be much better if you rolled it with bonus impact instead. Now while this one actually does some good damage, it's mainly because, well, the Kuva Kraken actually does good damage. But the slash procs you leave behind aren't too shabby either, so if you get a Kuva Kraken, especially one rolled with bonus impact, this would definitely be the way to go. And finally we of course have the Kachamun Kid Gun because it's pretty much perfect, it does a ton of impact and the stats are based on 
on what you use to construct it. My catch a moon, which is the doom shroom, is tilted more towards crit, and ideally you would want it to be more balanced so that you have a good amount of crit and status. The main problem for me here was that my Kachamoon doesn't really have enough status, so it was somewhat unreliable. So if you have a more well-rounded Kachamoon that has good crit and status, it's gonna perform much better. But even then, with it being somewhat unreliable, it performed better than any other secondary that I've tried with Hemorrhage. There's actually something interesting you could do with the Kachamoon specifically. The main problem with the Kachamoon with a setup like this is its low fire rate, so stacking Viro is pretty difficult. And it takes a long time, so what you could do here is draw drop Viral from the setup completely and instead pump up status and impact with like Rivens and Short Shot and all that and then get Viral from a different source, like from a companion for example. You could do it via Verglas, which is a new companion weapon that comes with a new Nautilus Sentinel. This one is really good for consistent single target stacking because it has high status to begin with and it's a beam weapon, so you slap on Sinister Reed so it has a lot of range, you put on Split Chamber for the multi shot, you put on Vigilante mods for the set bonus and then you run Viral with the Rifle Aptitude. Or if you want Want more coverage on your status, you could run Hellstrom, which is a more weapon you can get in Fortuna that fires a ton of little micro rockets that are also very good at stacking status, though it's better over a larger area and less reliable on single target. Now, there is one more weapon that could theoretically be really good. I can see this weapon being very powerful if you manage to get it, and that's a Kuva New Core that's been rolled with bonus impact damage of all things. That's the only way it's gonna work because the standard Kuva New Core just does radiation, so you need to spawn it on an impact based sledge so it does impact, so you can via hemorrhage transform it into slash. Now this is something that I want to try, but I currently have an active late, so I need to finish that one, and then I need to spawn a new one that's gonna have an impact based Kuva New Core and finish that one as well before I can do so. So while I can't try it just yet, it is something that I am going to do eventually. I think it should be good, though I'm not 100% sure because the Kuva New Core doesn't have good crit chance, so you will most likely not have crit multiplier in there. And I think I've been blabbering for long enough, so I thank you very much for watching as always, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.